Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend love and general situationship tarot reading session for you Taurus. This reading for today, this is for the Taurus friends out there. Let us see what is happening towards you Taurus. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is for the Taurus sign, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Taurus, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. And um, check out our website. We are offering our manifestation candles. It is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So if you want to check it out, it's in the website. Okay. Let us see what is happening towards you. What can I get for Taurus, please? In today's reading, we'll be looking at the recent past. We'll be looking at the current energies, the present situation, what's coming towards you. And then we'll be looking into the immediate future predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know, guys, if I need to, um, you know, um, extend the reading. Okay, let's get your overall energy. What is the overall energy for Gemini? Sorry, I, I just finished Gemini for Taurus. You have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Overall, you are very happy. You know, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Overall, you feel a sense of satisfaction. Six of Cups. Um, so, sorry, Six of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So overall, in terms of health or maybe wellness or family, uh, Ten of Cups, contentment. Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, you feel very contented with a situation or overall. You know, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. You don't have a lot of money, but you've got happiness. And the Sun card, yeah, this is really great, you know. This is really contentment. Sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's just, you know, being healthy, surrounded by friends and family. So for you... You are contented or you're going through your goal is to feel contentment and happiness. You know, Ten of Cups and Six of Pentacles in here. Very nice. Okay, that's really good. Okay, let's pick up more intuitive message for you. Um, in the recent past, you've got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Wow. Oh, wow. This is really a major, like, you've been really in recently... Your recent energy, your recent past is about Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. You've worked hard. You know, Ten of Wands is pushing boundaries, pushing everything, using all of your strength and passion and action to solve a problem. Okay? you So, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. You push, you push it. You push your limit. Your Hermit card. Um, sorry. So you've, you've used all of your wisdom, your knowledge, your strength to push for the best, to, to get what you want. You know, Ten of Swords in here. Page of Wands in, it paid off. Page of Wands. So there is something about life, friendship, work, family, or love that you've worked hard. You've used your wisdom, your knowledge, your learning, maturity, a lot of maturity in here. Your very perseverance, you know, you persevere. You really push the limit, the boundary, and you did get a page of wands. You did get a good news. You did get an outcome. You, it paid, I mean, it's not perfect, but it does, you know, paid off with a page of wands in here. You've got a queen of cups. Queen of cups is unconditional love. And, ooh, seven of swords. So, you've worked hard with something, with somebody, work, life, love for some of you guys. However, with the Queen of Cups and Seven of Swords, it's possible that you're trying to impress someone. It's, it's a feeling where you've given everything in when it comes to love, affection, support. Um, you feel like you needed more appreciation or you needed more... Um, validation for some of you because the queen of cups this is love 
this is emotional support and i think you are getting that but it's not it's not so much appreciated okay this there's a part of the reading with the queen of cups and seven of swords that you feel like you needed more with the amount of work you know ten of wands ten of swords the amount of work the amount of stuff you did for for a person for a situation or maybe for your life you feel like i needed love maybe you're maybe it could be that you know you've been working so hard in your life and you feel like queen of cups seven of swords universe where is my love where is my reward it could also be that you're working towards family member i don't know but you're working on something and you feel like this is one of the best reward however it's not perfect you know we can't get everything so for some of you you're missing something it could be love it could be affection it could be attention or maybe you're getting it but you feel like it's you needed more more like you needed you deserve more because of the amount of work so you feel like you're getting something but you deserve more or probably you've worked hard and now you want love and the seven of swords in here is playing cupid with you so I feel like whatever it is that's missing in here, it's so, it's, it's, it's kind of feeling like you, you know, life, life, sometimes we don't get it all, but if we appreciate what we have, it could be perfect. So in your eyes, there's still something missing, but it could be worked out. Seven of, seven of swords, this is a bit deceiving. So maybe you're, maybe. Maybe you're, you know, with, with the Empress card in the present energy, maybe you're really aiming to, Maybe you're really aiming to aim to, you know, the goal is home run is to hit 100%. And in this reading, if you set your bar or your expectation so high, you might get disapp disappointed five of cups because you're really doing well. If there's something missing, if there's something feeling incomplete or not yet complete, this could be projected in in some other like it, it, if you give it time, maybe it will happen. Maybe it's still in the progress. But there's something specifically that you want and it's close to your heart. I tell you, you have to pat yourself in the back because this is a lot. You've achieved a lot. And then if there's something that's missing in here or you want to happen, it could be in progress. Because right now, Empress card, look at that. Things are going well. Maybe you want to push further, you know. There's no such thing as 150% because if you push more than your boundary, you might get a five of cups, which is you might fail, you know. Maybe there is an element in here that you need to look into time. You need to look into details because Taurus, you've got 10, 10 and 10 in here. Look at that. Your lover's card. Yeah, you want love. I feel like you have money, you have fame, you have everything. For some of you except love for some of you and that's what's you know like i'm really getting like you have family friends you have the best you know like thing like i'm really picking up things would be perfect if i have love and yeah and you know sometimes being perfect or being happy it's it's a concept of contentment and in this reading i tell you you have something amazing more than what the other people person have so you you've got to be contented for now for this and then work towards love or relationship or affection because this is what's missing lover's card in the hidden energy in the surprise element in the immediate future you've got ace of pentacles you can buy love <laughs> so you might not have the best relationship with somebody with someone maybe you're you know you have this argumentative relationship with yourself and not knowing wh what the, what how do you find happiness and stuff like that but you definitely have a lot of stability ace of pentacles money money is in the horizon for you you've got the strength card Ooh. wow see you are solid and you have hit a groundbreaking start of or life, but you have just transitioned into a major um, breakthrough. So this is where Nine of Pentacles, you celebrate. You celebrate, you put your energy, your vibration into a higher level so you can attract the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, this is love. So for some of you guys, enjoy the moment of victory because this is 10 10 10 enjoy 
enjoy your stability enjoy what you have right now because the next part of your life the next the next big thing for you is the knight of wands which is love so you have a new love or you have a returning love but the universe is kind of you know the universe is really directing you to hey taurus i want you to focus on money stability and then i'll get you love because i if i give you love right now you might be um in this array with you know stability it might distract you so i might as well give you love later on so love will come for you love will find you unexpectedly it's here look at that so um this is what i have for you taurus thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your support it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys and if you would like to further connect with me i invite you to check out the website and don't forget to hit the bell click subscribe click the notification all okay and this is me thank you so much um taurus i will see you soon you have a great day bye bye